Oh, there were them weird washers and with the thing on them. Got one. You want to get this one too? Yeah, I don't need it. You don't need it? Nope. Wonder what it was on there for. Somebody put it under the lead base. Yeah. Not a new one. Here's your old mark. Mark right there. Oh, it said made in China. <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> Did that come off the motor or was that this? That probably that. Fangrill? Yeah. That's hard to put. Wow. Well, I know that motor made in China. Mexico, probably. Hmm. Wow. No, I think your website said China. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's China nowadays. China, China, China. I read up where carriers moved to package units to being built in Mexico and train their entry line models, the cheap, cheap ones. Yeah. They're made in Mexico. You know, all the motors in them Dodge trucks, mm -hmm. Chrysler's are made in Mexico. Wow. Shipped to uh, Canada. And that's wow. Where they're put in. Huh. Wow. I didn't know that. I huh. saw that on TV or something. Wow. I said, damn, making that shit in real. Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. That's Only thing I don't like is this flimsy coil guard. At least it's ain't a hundred degree heat out here. I'd rather have it a hundred degrees. Yeah, they, they, you got a point in there. I don't like the cold whatsoever. Mm -mm. Me neither. You just five six minutes. Five six. Yay! Are them fan blades going to clear this once it's already pulled back and everything? Mm -hmm. I wonder what's next to break on here, blower motor? Yeah, I'd very seldom. Huh. Don't talk about it, it'll break. Yeah. First it was a coil, now it's a fan motor. Mm -hmm. One year, that's, that's odd, isn't it? Isn't that odd? Hmm. One year later and something else breaks on it. Now, is there a certain way to hook him up or mm -hmm. just plug? Oh, is it, or can you mean like hook him up to be reverse or counterclockwise or clockwise or something? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's permanent? It's okay. It's straight motor. Okay. It's manufactured to go in the right direction. Okay. Hopefully. It will. Yeah. You gotta have faith. Yeah. At least you didn't have to take a top off. That's why, because it's hard to take top off. Oh, yeah, it'd take two people. Well, there ain't nobody but me today. <laughs> That's why I was glad that. Yeah. Aren't you lucky it's just you? You don't have to listen to Gary holler and yell at you doing stuff wrong. <laughs> it's, it's Gary that bothers me. Uh, Paul? <laughs> Paul's the one that. Yeah, he's the boss. He drives your ass crazy. Mm hmm. Just like last year, he was telling you what to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least you don't have to go into the house yet. Thank God. <laughs> nice shiny new motor. Is oh. that crooked or something? The motor? No. Okay. Oh, that's because this was loose. Yep. Okay. Let's hope it don't spin. If it does, they're gonna have to come out here with Gary's gonna have to come out here. Mm -hmm. I heard that a capacitor makes them spin backwards. They can. Hmm. Don't they fail without bulging sometimes? Yep. Hmm. But uh, usually when they fail, the motor stops completely. Uh, 
-hmm. And this this capacitor is the compressor is wired in with this okay. capacitor, so the compressor wouldn't run okay. in. I hope. I mean, it's yeah. possible. Anything, yeah. anything is anything possible. Anything you're right. But that motor does sound. That motor. Yeah. Is the way it was squeaking, squeaking and rusty, rusty as it is. Yep. Well, cheap motor. What do you expect? All right. I don't know if it's cheaper than that. That motor's probably about three hundred dollars. Good God. Of course, it ain't gonna cost, cost yeah. you nothing. But yeah. Oh, it's still under warranty. Yeah. I thought it was one year parts labor. Five. Five years? Yeah. Five years parts, one year labor. Okay. It's the labor you gotta pay for. Okay. And what about the compressor? Isn't that like ten years or something? Five. Five? Yep. I thought they're now offering lifetime. They are. The nail. But not now. Oh yeah. Yet. Yeah, that's true. Well, I don't know if they're offering lifetime. I know they're offering ten years. Well, I read up on the website they're offering lifetime. But it cost you. Yeah. You have to pay extra for it. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. Wow. It's like 400 and some dollars extra. Shoo. I found that train's probably the best out there. Train probably is, but they're also the most expensive. Exactly. And they're Actually, carrier's more expensive than a train. And they're so hard to work on, though. I bet. Trains are... Mm -hmm. I won't even work on a train. The spine fin coils? Well, I mean, it's just the way they wear them and the yeah. way they do things. If you don't work on that stuff every train every day... Yeah. You go to some of them things, them new ones, mm -hmm. you have no idea what's going on. Wow. Yeah, the old ones, you used to have to dismantle them like to get inside of it. And the you new still ones, do. Wow, I thought you just pulled fangirl. No, you still do have to. A lot of the trains, you have to about tear them apart to get into it. Wow. Drive your ass crazy. Wow. Wow. The next worst thing to work on is carrier. Uh-huh. What is that damn... Purple wire. There's a pink there one. There it is right there. That's it. You can go in there and turn it on. Turn it on heat. Okay. Turn it all the way up so it comes on. All right, I will do that. Right now? Oh, you got to put disconnect back in. That's fine. No, that's no All right, well, you want me to turn it on right now? Yeah, turn it on. Okay. All right. He told me to turn it on and jack that thing all the way up to where it'll stay on. It's still under warranty. You know that? You ain't got five-year parts, but labor. Okay, fan motor has been replaced. Let's put it on heat. Done. Let's jack it up. About 74 or so. The disconnects are pulled, but it'll come on. Let me get out there and see if I can catch it starting. Okay, I, it's on. This, yeah. Well, not on out here, but the thermostat's on. Shiny new motor. Don't some units the blade spin clockwise? Mm -hmm. Which is the most common? Green. All the others are counterclockwise? The motor says. The motor doesn't say we're made, but I think it's China. Because that is a Chinese sounding like name. Look it up. I mean, that strip heat, I timed it last n couple nights ago, mm -hmm. and it would shut off for three minutes, then every three to five minutes, it would kick on and run three to ten minutes. Yes, well, it'll do that. Yeah. It's, well, that's to save your power. Yeah. What happens is, you'll kick out. Yeah. When this compressor, if this motor is running slow, then mm -hmm. this compressor get hot. Okay. Real high head pressure, compressor mm -hmm. will kick out. Uh -huh. To save itself, because it's made okay. like that. Then yep. the strips will kick back in. Okay. As soon as the compressor kick out, strips kick back out. Oh. Well, it's, it's a good thing that you you noticed it was slowing up. Like yeah, that I heard it off. because it would like take 30 seconds or so for it to even spin up. Well, it wouldn't have hurt it even though it was kind of cold out. It wouldn't have hurt it. Not no. not bad. So which one of them's for the unit? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> You'll, well, it ain't that one. It ain't that one. You still got a five minute delay, so. 
Yeah. You gotta wait five minutes. Yep. Oh, no. Nope, uh oh, it ain't spinning. It ain't spinning. Is it defrosting? No. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Them blades ain't even tight. Take it apart again. No, I ain't gonna take it apart. I don't think that's what it is. Uh oh.